The Imperfect Anus. The Imperfect Anus is a congenital defect in which the opening to the anus is misplaced or absent. It is present in 1 in 5,000 live births. In a high imperfect anus lesion, the large bowel ends in a blind pouch, with possible communication through a fistula with the vagina, base of penis, scrotum, or urethra. In a low imperfect anus, only the anus is underdeveloped and opening too tight. An infant born with the imperfect anus is quickly diagnosed by physical examination of the anal opening. Further imaging using x-ray or ultrasound may be required. If not discovered initially, an infant will present with a swollen abdomen and vomiting. The physician must now determine whether this is a high or a low imperfect anus. Meconium passing out the vagina indicates the presence of a fistula, which notifies the medical team that the baby has a high imperfect anus. It is important to check for other associated congenital anomalies, known as Vactoral. 55% of Vactoral babies are born with the imperfect anus. B. Vertebral anomalies. A. Anal atresia. C. Congenital cardiac defects. T. Tracheoesophageal anomalies. R. Renal urinary defects. L. Limb defects. Normal embryogenesis of the anus is characterized by termination of the distal hindgut in the cloaca. A urorectal septum then separates the ventral and dorsal cloaca, thus separating the future genital urinary and digestive systems. The anus then develops from an external invagination which deepens toward the rectum. The anal membrane disintegrates, connecting the rectum and external anus. A failure in any of these steps of embryogenesis can result in the imperfect anus. However, the exact cause is unknown. Now observe how the physician administers fluids and antibiotics to the kleine Fraulein. The antibiotics will help prevent UTIs for a potential fistula. The rest of the treatment is surgical. With a low and perfect anus, this treatment consists of anoplasty and fistula repair. However, a high and perfect anus requires an additional consideration. The first procedure I would perform would be a temporary colostomy. This will allow the infant time to grow. The next procedures I would perform are a posterior sagittal anal rectoplasty or a laparoscopic assisted pull through and fistula repair. Mein Gott! Both of these procedures require time to heal before the final surgery, which is closure of the initial colostomy. Constipation or incontinence may persist, even following surgical repair. Severe consequences, including cardiac and renal complications, may be related to associated abnormalities. Thank you for your kind attention. For more information, contact us at the address on your screen.